Hey guys, it's John Small Town, Small Time Bookseller here with another video. Yeah, I missed last week. I'm sorry, but I tried. <laughs> and then there's this thing, little thing called life. Life, electric word, life means forever. And that's a mighty long time. And uh, anyways, that's what got in the way. I just, uh, yeah, hopefully we'll get back on track now. So this video is going to be a little different. It's actually going to be good. <laughs> um, and uh, the way it's going to be good, well, before we get into all of that, let me tell you who I am. I'm John, the Small Town, Small Town Bookseller, and I make videos about selling books, mostly entirely and just about in all ways, eBay, in fact, entirely on eBay. I get books at the Goodwill bins, thrift stores, that's about all my choices around here are, and I sell them on eBay, and when I sell them, I'll come here and I'll tell you all about them. That's me. That's the video. That's what you're here for. That's what's in store for you. I don't do garage sale videos. I don't do yard sale videos. I don't do Goodwill bins with the GoPros, you know, at the Goodwill bins. I'm just kind of looking at my hands. They're 10 feet tall, beautiful golden humanoids. And let's say they have big wings and they, they welcome Spaceman Jones. They show them around when something's on their mind. They're worried. They're afraid. Mm, concerned about my hands, I am. But we'll get more about that later. Or will we? Probably not. So, um, this video is going to cover December 16th through December 31st of last year. So then we'll all be right there together in 2024. Oh, it'll be nice to be back in the same year, at least. And I'm slowly catching up. I am trying my best. I'm really not, but I'm trying. Giving it a, a good college heave ho at least, and uh, so uh, yeah, this uh, video's got a, it's got some really good stuff in it. It's a total of forty sales, so some of those lower value ones I'm gonna just kind of pass on through pretty quickly, uh, but I'm gonna mention them all. I hope you don't mind, but um, if there's any of those you want to see, you might need to pause and to see the picture because I'm probably gonna hit those pretty quickly. And um, there are 28 books and 12 not a books. And so we'll go over the, the, the exact numbers afterwards. But the thing that's going to be different about today is I got a question on one of my, uh, maybe, maybe the last video, but someone was asking me about how I photograph books. And I've also been asked about how I price books. So I was going to hit both of those in the same video. I already took a video. I'm going to try to splice it in here in just a second. But if I can't do it, I'll put it in at the end. Um, we'll see. I don't want to spend a whole lot of time trying to figure out how to edit this one. So I can do the two together, but I've never like tried to put a video in the middle of the other ones. I know it can be done. I can probably figure it out. But if I if it doesn't show up, um, then, uh, then just wait till the end and it'll be there. So here is the video I recorded on what I do and how I, uh, how I photograph, where I photograph books and how I price them, and I think I even talk about um, how I store them. So here you go. Hi, um, I got a question about how I photograph books, so I thought I would take you through the process and tell you what I do. So I am in my usual abode here. This is where I hide out from the family. Um, my usual eBay room, those are the shelves that are behind me when I'm sitting here making my usual videos. And there's a bunch of unlisted books right there. And uh, so I grabbed one and just kind of show you how I would photograph this book. We have a dictionary of uh, food and nutrition. So I'd come up real close. I go, come on, look at me, look at me. There we go. You, come on, book. You can do better than that. You call that modeling. I've seen a, I've seen a used student dictionary from Turner Junior High do better than that. And you call yourself a dictionary of food and nutrition. Come on. And then I would actually, what I would typically do. <laughs> I'll put them on a little stand, you know, make them relax a little bit. Take a close-up picture there. Take a close-up picture. Yes, I am ready for your close-up picture there. And then this little stand. This is something my wife had in her classroom for a few years. And uh, I use it now just for this purpose. And then I would, um, well, I would take a picture of the inside, the front. I'll either do this on the stand or else I'll stand up and get a picture shooting down without the shadows. Because um, often there's going to be writing here. And if there's not, I want to prove that there's not. And then I'll take a picture of the title page. Focus in on the copyright date. 
what does that say? 1930, what does that say? 1938. And then the copyright page needs to be there too. And obviously I wouldn't do it with a shadow. Either tilt it up or stand up and get a better picture. And then the inside of the back often has writing as well. So you can get a picture there showing that this one does not. Or if it does, that it does. Get a picture of the of the spine right there. Or also lay it down like this and get a picture. Now, a lot of people say, oh, you got to have solid white background or else you can't sell anything. And maybe that's part of my problem. But uh, I like to have this background. I just think it looks good. And I, it's a lot easier than... I have a white box that I used to use, but I never could get the lighting quite right. And I didn't like setting it up and putting it down all the time. So I just do mine right here. Um, get a picture of this corner, picture of that corner. And then I make sure you flip through and see if there's any writing anywhere, any torn pages, any stains, anything like that. And if there are, then you take some close up pictures of those. And then, um, yeah, that's pretty much it as far as pictures go. Uh, just some close-ups of damage. Maybe another picture of that little stain there. And um, then as far as determining a value on a book like this, a food and nutrition dictionary from 1938, well, I would start with eBay and look, up, look it up. I would put in Dictionary of Food and Nutrition 1938 and see what shows up. If I see one similar, go to the sold, see if anything's sold. If not, what's listed? If I don't find anything, then take out 1938 and just use Dictionary of Food and Nutrition. If that doesn't show me anything relevant, maybe it has a bunch of modern stuff, then I might put in one of the author's names or the publisher's names and try to get something that is similar to this one. Um, if I can't find anything on eBay, then I would go to Amazon. and do the same thing on Amazon to see if there are any... Uh, listed there and after that if nothing there I would do a general web search and that'll usually take you to something like Abe books along those lines so um that's what I would do I you do all my pictures here if I have if I'm selling a hat I got this little dude hey and he's my little hat model and I'll take the picture right here you know and uh everything else pretty much is is the same it is, takes right on this <coughs> on this uh, table and then like if i have this book here after i have listed it i'm going to look around and see where i've got some space so maybe right there so this is bookcase 10 this is number 9 a b c d so in the description of this book i'm going to put at the very end 10 d and then i'm going to go over there and slide it in so then when i sell it and i see that it says 10 d or 9 d sorry i know i would just go to 9 a b c d and i only have to look in this area for that book and that's a good one reason why i always take a picture of the spine so when i pull out that stack of books right there i can just look up and down and see if i can find the blue book with a gold lettering on it and it really is pretty easy um i don't have any problems ever finding any of my books so that is how i take pictures of books how i price them and how i store them so hope that helps now maybe you just saw that and maybe you didn't so i'm gonna go down to the videos now and if you didn't just see it it's gonna be at the end and i'm sorry i'm just not very good at some things uh, i am a moron who learned another language um it's an inside joke that one other person will get but that's okay oh forgot about my hat you want to make people think you live on a farm. Maybe you are a farm. Or maybe you just like the word farm. If so, this can be yours for the sweet, sweet price of $5. Again, no matter what astronomically ridiculous price I put on this hat. If you go to my uh, eBay store and search for it. And just let me know, put in an offer of $5 and say, yo, dude, I'm a subscriber of your, saw it on your video, whatever. Uh, it's yours for five bucks plus shipping. All right, so that's what we're going to do. So let's get into the books. I think that's all the stuff I had to talk about. Now we'll just get into the olden books and not a books. All right. Um, all right. So start off here. Sold a couple of Q-Link SIM cards. 
I've gone over those too many times, so I'm not even going to talk about it, but sold two of them for $7.75 each. All right, here's another uh, book that I have sold multiple copies of in the past, and that is the Operator Handbook, Red Team plus OSINT plus Blue Team reference paperback. Don't know what it means. Still don't know what it means. I could probably go and read a little bit of it and learn, but I don't want to. So there you go. All right. And then we, uh, I, I, there's two books in Spanish that sold today. This is the first one. It's Ayúdanos a Salir de Aquí by Maria Sima with Nikki Eltz. So I think that was a fiction. Might have been a uh, like a true story, something like that. The, the title is Help Us Get Out of Here, basically. Um, but I'm not sure if it was fiction or nonfiction, but it's over $10. So don't be scared away from Spanish language uh, books, not just learning Spanish, but books that are, you know, fiction, nonfiction in Spanish. And then we had um, an older book here. This was Fun with a Pencil, How Everybody Can, and I had, that's where it cut off. So everybody can do something with pencil, uh, 1969. Uh, sold for ten dollars. Um, the next one is called Meat for Men by Leonard Ravenhill. It's from 1961, and that sold for ten dollars as well. Uh, we have our first religious book of the day, Vintage uh, NIV Narrated Bible in Chronological Order. Uh, sold for ten dollars. And then we have the Non-Technical Guide to Petroleum Geology for ten dollars as well. Music like uh, page music, guitar tabs, things like that, often sell pretty good. This is Alfred's Shredding Paganini, uh, sold for $10. All right, those are all the $10 and under books. So now we'll take a breath and we'll pay a little more attention to these fine upper dollar kind of sales. Mind Reach, Scientists Look at Psychic Abilities, $11 only, but it's a good genre. If you see anything about psychic abilities, ESP, uh, anything along those lines, um, look it up. And I know you will. Uh, and uh, so then we have calisthenics, the superhuman stack, 150 body weight exercises. So for $13.50, exercise books are pretty good, pretty good sellers. So always look those up as well. This is the self-love workbook for first-time moms. Um, I picked up a few of these. I've had them for a long time. I think this is the first one that sold. So not a really great pickup there. It's over $14.50. And I'm sure I got it for like 50 cents or less. And then we have the writing strategies book. Your everything guide to developing skilled. <laughs> and that's where it cuts off again. Skilled something. You see it there. Sold for $15. Um, writing strategies, good genre. That's kind of a, along the education lines. So um, I sell a lot of books related to, to that. And then I sold two copies of Trend Following, How to Make Fortune in Bull, Bear, and Black Swan Markets. They each sold for $15. That was nice to sell both of those. And then we have What Islam is All About, sold for $15. Another book on religion. We tell you that religion sells. All religions. Um, we have the Southern. This is my first. This is another not a book. My first hat. So I had a few hats that sold. And this one was a Southern Methodist University. My parents, alma mater. Um, and Top of the World hat, sold for $17. And then uh, moving on, we have... The Bulwarks of the Faith by Foy Wallace. Foy, 1951, sold for $18. What is that third religious book so far? Hmm. Um, then we have Skylab, our first space station book. It's NASA, 1977 NASA book, sold for $18. Um, the next hat, this is a Lone Star Beer logo hat, uh, sold for $18.50. Then we have the vintage Matthew Henry commentary on the whole Bible in one volume from 1972, sold for $20. I believe that's, what, fourth religious book so far. They're just taking over everywhere, ain't they? And then we have our next Spanish book. This is the Perspicacia para Comprender las Escrituras, volume one, sold for $20. Um, so that's also a religious book, right? 
And that's the, the scriptures about understanding the scriptures. So yeah, it's like five religious books so far. Man, I didn't even realize it myself. And then we sold a Shokugakun Progressive Japanese English Dictionary. Sold for $20 as well. Um, and then another hat. Lone Star Beer logo hat. Navy blue. Sold for $20. And then another hat. Homestead Grays. The Negro League Baseball hat. Sold for $20. And then another hat. Another, oh, another Homestead Grays hat. So I sold two of those. I um, actually sold, well, that one sold for a little bit more. So two of them sold for $20. Then we had this Paul Marriott vinyl record uh, sold for $20. Um, vintage albums, it's interesting. Sometimes ones like this, I have never heard of Paul Marriott. And, uh, but the album looked interesting, so I looked it up, and it did seem to have some value. You just never know. So I, I'm still, well... People who know would know, but I'm still learning albums, so I'm still having to look up almost everything. So I've learned that um, the ones that you see a lot out in the wild are classical, and they're, they're Broadway shows, they're Broadway musicals, Sound of Music, My Fair Lady. They don't have any value. Um, all the classical so-and-so plays, you know, for the least, Franz at least, <laughs> or... Kirschwin or, or whatever it is and it's like a piano concerto violin concertos it, it doesn't they don't have much value so it's the more obscure things country music rock and roll jazz that seem to have the value gospel apparently does I've never found any good gospel albums but I've seen other people it'll be like the so-and-so family singers and uh, they have a great has good value so uh, I'm still learning which albums to to look up or which ones just to pass by uh, next, we have a Kay Nielsen illustrations book, uh, sold for $20. Then we have one of the greatest books of all time, if not the greatest book of all time, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy by Douglas Adams. This is a hard copy dust jacket from 1979, sold for $21. Um, next, a 1969 hardback, hardcover book of Lugers at Random. So for $22.50, and I believe that went to a, a viewer, and I forgot to go back and see who it was, because that was fun. I don't have, yeah, that was good. Thank you, viewer. Whoever you were, I can't, can't, oh, I can't remember. And then another hat. So this is another of the Homestead Grays Negro League Baseball hat. So for $22.50. So, and then uh, last time I sold these pencils, those mechanical like drafting pencils, I sold like seven of them. Well, I had one left and uh, it sold for $30 for that one mechanical pencil. And then another great topic, anytime you see anything on Freemasonry, this is Gould's History of Freemasonry, volume two and three. So it's even missing volume one and the two volumes sold for $38. This is from 1954. Um, there was an earlier version from 20s or 30s that sells for a lot of money, but I had the 1954 version and it still sold for 38 bucks. Then I sold a stamp, a 1939 New York World Fair uh, Czechoslovakian stamp, sold for $40, so happy about that. Um, a yearbook, I always like selling the yearbooks because they're so big and they take up so much room, but I like buying them, so it's good to sell one. This was a Texas A&M Aggie Land yearbook from 1994, sold for $40. Then we had uh, the last not a book, The Power of Shamanic. Um, the Power of Shamanic, what? Healing, CD and audiobook set, uh, sold for $45. Good topic again, Sh shamanic healing, natural healing, um, any kind of things along those lines. And then um, the end of watch, Chicago police killed in line of duty. This is a, a beautiful hardback book, a really nice, beautiful book. So for $45, um, it was signed by the author. Um, then we have the Metamorphosis of Ovid, Ovid, Ovid by North Point Press, so for $45. Um, and then we have the last two are the biggest sales of this time period. We had Cedar Whacker. Stories of Texas Hill Country, signed by the author Charles Wembley, 
hundred dollars. Hundred dollars to learn about stories of the cedar whacker. <laughs> and then the last one I went through first, gave myself a little a little touch up, a little nose check before I sold it. I went through and read about um open structure rhinoplasty. <laughs> did a little did a little work, as you can tell. What do you think I did? Did okay? And then I sold the book for $190. That was a good book right there on open structure rhino class. He sold for $190. Wow, 15 minutes and I got through all of those. <sighs> then with my little splice in, that should be pretty good. So I'm not going to dawdle and waste too much time talking about things I ought not be talking about. So what would that total bring us to? 28 books sold for $786.50 for an average of $28.09 over the $25 completely made up an arbitrary number that I figure is a good sales period average. So we're well above that. And then I didn't think I was going to hit my goal for not a books, but that second uh, uh, hat sale, the, the homestead grays, that got me right to my average. I was hoping for like $22.38. And if you take $268.50 divided by 12 not a book sales, what do you got? $22.38. So nailed it. And um, that's about it. So if you didn't see the video earlier of, the, that, uh, of me talking about my, my, my photography setup and uh, how I store my books and price the books, it's coming in right after this. But if you've already seen it, then this is the end, my friends. <laughs> is the end and uh, oh the Astros are losing in the ninth oh three to one darn it and I will see you um hopefully you're selling the heck out of a bunch of stuff hope everything's going well for you and I'll hope to see you sooner rather than later adios